Advances in artificial intelligence are leading to medical breakthroughs once thought impossible, including devices that can actually read minds and alter our brains. But that technology raises privacy concerns. That's why Colorado passed a first of its kind law aimed at ensuring our private thoughts remain private. Your political reporter, Sean Boyd, joins us live from the Capitol tonight. Sean, this is really mind blowing even to think about. Who has <laughs> access to this technology? Yeah, Karen, everyone, believe it or not. You can buy devices on the internet right now that can, to varying degrees, decode your brain waves. And the technology being developed by the likes of Elon Musk, Apple, Meta, and OpenAI can change, enhance, and control your thoughts, emotions, even your memories. It's the dawn of a new era filled with promise and peril. If you think telepathy or mind control is the stuff of science fiction, think again. This is kind of like the first consumer grade brain computer interface um, that anyone can have and anyone can control their computer um, using this technology. It's called neurotechnology and neurologist Sean Fazowski at UC Health says it's revolutionizing healthcare, enabling people who can't move or speak to do what was previously thought impossible, communicate with just a thought or expression. This headset, one of 30 devices you can now buy on the internet to peer into your brain and in some cases alter it. So it, it is actually modulating and stimulating your brain to help you get a better night's sleep. If the at-home devices are impressive, those being used in the lab are even more so. Our brain waves are like encrypted signals and using artificial intelligence intelligence, researchers have cracked the code, identifying frequencies for specific words to turn thought to text. Yes. Because of the pattern of my brain wave. Yes. Not only do words have distinctive brain patterns, so do conditions like Alzheimer's, anxiety, and addiction. Conditions. The benefits are going to be off the charts. Uh, patients are going to have dozens of more options. But with the benefits come risks. It is some of the most sensitive data that you could possibly share with anyone. Data insurance companies could use to discriminate, law enforcement to interrogate, and advertisers to manipulate. Government, too, could get into our heads and potentially alter our thoughts, emotions, and memories as the technology advances. Nobody wants to live in a world where some of these misuses are... And based on a study by the Neural Rights Foundation, two-thirds of them are already sharing or selling the data with third parties. The vast majority of them also don't disclose where the data is stored, how long they keep it, who has access to it, and what happens if there's a security breach. Which is why Pazowski, medical director of the foundation, led the passage of a first-in-the-nation law in Colorado that includes biological or brain data in the State Privacy Act. It's everything that we are. You know, it's, it's everything about our thoughts, our emotions, our memories, our intentions. They don't want brain data to end up like DNA data that people sent to genealogy sites only to learn that they shared or sold it to a third party. Do these at-home devices cost and how well do they work? Most of them are in the $200 to $400 range, for some are in the thousands of dollars. Because they're marketed as wellness devices, they're not regulated by the FDA, but Pazowski says the ones that he's tried do work. All right, so much to take in. Ah. Sean, thank you for that report.